What is up everyone, PureCowsX here, with part 9 <laughs> of the uh, Tamiya Grasshopper restoration. I've decided to put the final article in its own video, and, and this is going to be it. Uh, the, the Grasshopper is kind of technically 98% done, there's still a couple of things I might want to try to do to it, especially the oil-filled shocks from China. So I'll get those at a later date. But for now, the main car uh, is done. Um, so, yeah, um, I think I've, I'm going to put some pictures of what it looked like before I show you the final thing. Um, and this is what it looked like when I first bought it off eBay. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit of a story state. Obviously, I'm not using the original body. I do have a new one, but I do still have the original that has been sort of restored somewhat. Um, and it's no longer purple, like I showed you in another video. But uh, yeah, I will actually uh, bring it on. Uh, and this oh, uh, is it. Yeah, that's <laughs> it's what I call the monster hopper, even though it's not technically a monster truck, really. Um, but yeah, it's you know the wheels and the tires. It kind of kind of looks like a monster truck. So since these are truck wheels, but yeah, I I'm, I think that's taken. I haven't painted the drive yet, obviously, but. For all intents and purposes, it's, it's looking good. Uh, I'm glad that the uh, decals went on really well. I was afraid that I was going to mess these up, uh, but they actually went on quite quite nicely. Uh, I'm less impressed by how well I did the paint on here, uh, as I used masking tape, as I thought that would actually make things a little bit easier when I hand paint it. Unfortunately, it, it went under the masking tape quite a lot and um, so I had to scrape it off gently um, so on on the on the outside it doesn't look too bad but yeah and of course as you can see acro shop wheels at least that's where I know them from and blitzer beetle tires pumpkin slash lunchbox wheelie bar just because uh, light pods from the comical series uh, green wheel nuts to go with the green in which case I might paint him green like light green and a dark green or red and green I haven't figured that out yet so got green there, green there, the green alloy oh, you can't really see it, the green alloy heat sink there that says Hornet <laughs> unfortunately um, some red wheel nuts to go under the springs just to kind of compress them a little bit more another and there's an o-ring just there on the on the screw so that when it comes back down it's kind of like I've got a bit of padding uh, and pumpkin steering links uh, I was debating on to whether or not to do the pivoting gearbox but a little bit of research shows that the fixed axle gearbox it provides a little bit more controllability from what I've read so I might actually just leave that there but I might get a new gearbox casing at some point <clears throat> so yeah <laughs> it's um uh, yeah yeah I had to trim these down as well in order to get these to fit but in the future, I might get the aluminium front bumper because I found one of those as well. So I might get, might get that. Um, but yeah, on the whole, 
uh, and a faster motor. 21 turns is a bit slow. Uh, so, at least it feels a bit slow. So, in fact, okay, so let's get this unscrewed. Kind of annoying to do this. Um, you can reach the Tamiya plugs from inside with it being screwed on, but it is a bit of a kerfuffle. I do want to take the top off anyway. So, uh, yeah, I still haven't decided whether or not to get some black styrene sheet and try and put like a floor on it just below the driver to sort of hide all that. Um, kind of concerned about how much space the heatsink has for the speed controller, but no, no, there should be enough. I don't think these speed controllers get too hot anyway. And if it does get too hot, I might replace it with the 1080, which is a lot more low profile. So, we'll have a bit more room. Uh, but, yeah. And uh, nice, nice gearbox is nice and free. Yeah. Ah, it's very nice. I will take this out for a run and uh, give a recording if I can. I did record a quick session with the um, acro shot wheels. Uh, those things over there. It's there. Yeah, ignore the dust. I, I need to clean. But yeah, those tires there. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh my god, there's always one. There's always one screw that does not want to come out with the rest of them. <sighs> right. So, we plug this in. And I still haven't been able to find a nice spot for the on off switch, so at the moment it's just there. And. Da -da -da. The green light there for the receiver. But yeah, there you go. Look at that. That's kind of, kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. So let me take that off. These are a bit fidgety to sort of fit on. Like I didn't really know what to do because it's very tight. I was thinking about sort of cutting some of the mirror, but I didn't want to wreck that. So. I just kind of neatened it down. I did not need to make it this long. I did, yeah. And they do sort of face inwards a little bit, but... Eh, yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, yeah. Oh, so yeah, and that's the insides. I don't know why I put a Nismo sticker there, it's just to put something there. And I've soldered the motor directly to the speed controller which was a bit stupid because I might be changing the motor um, but those bullet connectors are quite big so this just kind of makes it a bit neat why I haven't bought any blue and yellow wire I don't know I'm stupid <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah so there's that um, but there's also uh, the original body I had um, originally I painted it purple uh, but I've changed that. I, I took all the stickers off that I put on there, sanded it down, and sprayed it using some metallic black that I had left. Look at that. <laughs> it looks pretty good, doesn't it? This is just uh, Halford's normal metallic black. Uh, I've only put a very limited amount of stickers on at the moment. Uh, you can see that's the repair job I did. It's, you know, well, I should say second repair job, because I broke it when I took this out for a test drive. Um, and as you can see, I've also put some square lights on this one. Uh, I didn't have any white LEDs left. So what I've done is that I've dubbed this one the Hell Hopper, uh, because... It doesn't fit on the chassis very well. 
Um, because it's all black, except for the wheels, kind of destroys the illusion, but because... Ah, it's possessed. <laughs> Wait, why doesn't that fit properly? Or is it because of the... Yeah, might be because of the cable for the lights. But it does fit. Yeah, or is it that? Hmm. Oh, is it? Oh, it might be because of that. Is it? Is it because of that? It's just it's it gone. No, doesn't want to fit properly for some insane reason. <laughs> why does? It, why won't it fit? Uh, oh, I wonder if it is just because of the uh, cable for the LEDs. Hmm, I don't know. It, it fit yesterday. <laughs> but yeah, you get the idea. It's the Hellhopper. Mm, the, the green LED kind of destroys the illusion a little bit, especially at night when you can see the green glowing on the inside. Um, but yeah. Yeah, it's, it's dark, but... Yeah, why not? I could just sell this body separately and call it the Hellhopper. Try and find some 666s six, six, and whatnot. I'm not going to try and figure out why it won't fit properly. I'm assuming it's this pushing up against the servo or something. Ugh. Yeah, it might be. Mm. I tried to make it shorter, but made me made it too short. So yeah, um, so yeah, there we go. That's the uh, the, the grasshopper restoration, almost complete. Like I said, the only thing I want to do left really is to get possibly an aluminium bumper and the oil-filled shocks. But. Uh, Yeah, it's a uh, the steering links from the pumpkin work really well. Yeah, there's a, there's a bit of wheel wobble, but I don't know if that's from the wheels or the axles, because there's no wobble in the wheel. Like, it is solid. And there's some in and out movement, but there is no. Okay, maybe a little bit. Yeah, but it should be fine once it's like flat on the floor. So, turn it off. Um, but yeah, there we have it. So, really, only two things I want to do aluminium bumper and oil filled shocks. There is somewhere from the UK that I can get the aluminium bumper, so that's fine. But yeah, the shocks I can only get from China, so that'll be a couple of weeks wait. And uh, that'll probably be a separate video, along with the bumper, and a test run of how it works with the oil-filled shocks. So, yeah. Uh, but the oil-filled shocks are blue, so mm, that doesn't quite fit. But yeah. Um, still somewhat undecided whether or not to sell this or not. But I was thinking of getting another chassis, doing it up in exactly the same way, keeping this one, and selling the other one as the Hellhopper. <laughs> so, yeah. I might also do the uh, styrene sheet on here as well, just put like a styrene sheet on the bottom, just to block out everything that you can see there. It should be interesting. So I'll get some of that sheet and I'll see how it how it fits in there. I kind of need to see how I can put it in. I don't want to super glue it in. Originally I was going to attach it to the bottom of the driver. But I think if I do that, it's going to be too low. So I might cut a square in the styrene sheet. And then have this sit in that. And then try and find a way to attach this to the sheet. Don't know. Um, could glue it in I suppose. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. And then that basically that means that the styrene sheet will be held in place by the driver. So 
just means that you have to replace the driver and the sheet at the same time. <laughs> um, but hopefully, yeah, won't need to do that. So, yeah. Uh. Oh. Yep, so there we have it. That is pretty much the grasshopper done. Considering what it looked like when I first bought it several months ago. Both the original body and the new body and the chassis. I think it looks pretty darn good. It looks pretty good. So, um, yeah, this, this is kind of one of those things that you want to sell because you want to recoup your money, but at the same time you don't want to sell it because you you did this and you know you've added your own personal touches to it and everything. So mm, it's very difficult to to sell something like this. Ugh. And now I've got a pic. Oh, then again, no, I was going to say I've got a, something I can take for a new thumbnail. But um, if I do that, <laughs> it's going to give away the final look. Mm. Yeah, well. Yeah. I even painted that bit at the back as well. <laughs> again, not spectacularly well. Um. Yeah, saying that, that could have actually gone a bit better, that. Hmm. Might actually might have another stab at that, because there's... yeah. Yeah, anyway. I'm going to end it there for now, so... I will do a run video, that'll be the next part. And we'll see how these wheels grip and everything like that, and... Uh, yeah, if there is a next part, it'll be the shocks and a bumper. So, yep. Yeah. Anyway. Hope you enjoyed it. So thank you for watching. I shall return presumably at some point with maybe a part ten, nine. I can't. I'm, I've lost track. Uh, wait, seven. Yeah, it might be a part ten. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed it. I shall be back soon. Uh, with oh yeah, no, there'd be the run video next, wouldn't it? So uh, I've lost track of what <laughs> I've freaking done. I'm gonna go now. Um, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and all that kind of stuff. So, bye. See you in the next video. Woo.